Dick Morris is out with a... <laughs> was uh, it Isaiah Thomas from the Detroit Pistons? I think it was him. Somebody, sure. somebody named Isaiah. A anyway. plan now making it its way through state legislatures with astonishing speed would junk the Electoral College and award the presidency to the winner of the popular vote. Have you heard this? The plan involves no. an interstate compact where the states would commit to select electors pledge to vote for the national popular vote winner, regardless of how their own state voted. When enough states pass this law, sufficient to cast the Electoral College majority 270 votes, it will take effect. The Electoral College will become um, um, outdated and, and um, well, on the scrappy. So, wait, this is for a, a constitutional amendment then? Because that's no, what it would take. I think no, go around it, no, this is, they found a way around it. So far, nine states and the District of Columbia casting 136 electoral votes have joined moving halfway to the 270 needed uh, for the to put the compact into effect the ratifying states are maryland new jersey illinois hawaii washington massachusetts dc vermont california and rhode island i would love to see if this goes through because they're going to get all left states to vote for this then they have to vote for the popular vote winner you're telling me maryland's going to go and be like all right we got to give it to uh, ted cruz and so Ted Cruz is going to win in a complete landslide, even though people in Maryland completely reject Ted Cruz. He's he's going to win. That, that's how this is going to happen. There's no way that happens. They would all change that law before they cast the the votes. Both houses in New York have passed it, and it is on Cuomo's desk. It is already passed in one house in Arkansas, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Maine, Michigan, Nevada, New Mexico, North Carolina, and Oregon. Okay. With the other states, plus New York, it represents 107 votes. Combined with the others, uh, they are up to 242 votes. No way. It's just, it's, it's unconstitutional. How can you do this? Well, because do they have... The movement is funded in part for the Center for Voting and Democracy. Oh, boy. George Soros. Soros. Of course. He's been big on this for a while. Yep. Essentially, it is an end run around the regular constitutional amending process. Rather than get two-thirds majority of each House of Congress and three-quarters of the states, this proposal will take effect when a simple majority approve it. Why are Democrats pushing this plan? Because Democrats usually see smaller percentage of their people go to the polls than Republicans do. But under the electoral vote system, they figure why beat the drums to get the high turnout in New York City when a state will go Democrat anyway. But... If it's the popular vote that matters, the big city machines can do their things with devastating impact. They're manufacturing votes. That's what's happening. They're yeah. just printing up people. Yeah, because the but the and the idea going around the Constitution does the Constitution actually say that it, it's a pro? It's a yes. It's the a electoral yeah, process the electoral is, is in the, the Constitution. Constitution. So how, that is how we elect the president. But it doesn't it a, talk about the popular vote. The popular vote doesn't no, but, even matter. But in the it, it says the states are apportioned the the electoral votes, right? It doesn't necessarily define how they have to use them. If no, they pass the states. A, no, they pass a law. What they're doing is they're saying they're going to the electoral college. They're going to the states. Yeah. And they're saying with the electoral college, here's what we want to do. That if what you're going to do is you're going to change it at your state level, that if there's 270 votes, you know, 270, you know, electoral votes for in, in all of the states, if we can get those states to put it together, then it'll just automatically go into effect. And what you're doing is you're still using the electoral process and everything else. You're just giving us a guarantee right. that if it goes different than the popular vote, you got to take the popular like vote. Like I'm saying, like, uh, is it Maine and Nebraska, I believe? Have they don't give all their votes to whoever wins? They do it by congressional district, and you, yeah. every once in a while you'll see like Obama wins one in Nebraska. I think in mm-hmm. 2008 he won one of, right. one electoral vote from Nebraska. So they're able to define how they give out these votes. If they commit by law to give it to the popular vote winner, that's what they're doing. That's what I'm saying. So they it's not going around. It's not a no, they wouldn't a, need an amendment to the Constitution to do that because they're still correct. using the electoral that, that, college. Right, right, right. That's what they're they're uh-huh. what they want to do is get rid of the electoral vo- college. And just and make it popular vote. Yeah. They know they can't do right. that, and so they're so going around. This it renders by... the if this happens, it mm-hmm. renders the electoral college mm-hmm. meaningless because you just go with the uh, popular but, vote. Why but, even have electoral college? Right, and that's of course what they and want. that's what they want. But when you say when they this... say they need two hundred and seventy, which is, this is what's killing me, is that if they did this, obviously, and all the ones you listed, with the exception of Arkansas, which only has one house, so that doesn't really make a difference. Uh, they're mostly left wing states. So the left wing states would lose all of their power if the conservative president. Yes, like, but but wait wait wait. But here's what happens. Mm-hmm. You know, with with Obamacare, they're registering all these people to vote. 
they are making a big push that you don't need voter ID. At the same time, um, what's his name? Uh, Holder will not allow you to the, the states to clean the rolls up. There mm-hmm. is there's voter fraud like crazy. And he is he is stopping everybody from cleaning the rolls up and yeah. purging all of the dead people and right. the double votes and everything else. And with Obamacare, you're going to have even more voter fraud. And so what they're saying is the theory is, is that the Democrats excel at voter fraud. And so they are just going to gin this thing up. And all they have to worry about are those cities. You know, you don't have to worry. If you get Philadelphia, you don't need to worry about but, anything else. But if they don't get, let's say, Texas to sign on to this, Texas is going to cast the votes how they're doing it now. But, and then Maryland is going to it's going to say be dependent on the popular vote. Well, the, Maryland, there's no gain. <clears throat> Maryland's going to vote for the Democrat anyway. So these Democratic states that are adopting this, who would vote for the Democrat anyway, are now mm-hmm. going to vote. There's no upside there. The only upside for Democrats is if they can get somehow get red states to buy into this, which is, of course, absurd. And anyone considering it should should uh, resist it, obviously. Some Republicans, particularly in non-swing states, are inclined to back the proposal simply so they can get their fair share of attention. They're tired of delegating to Ohio, Florida, Nevada, Virginia, all of the power to choose the president. And they can't remember when a candidate for that office went to their state and can't really campaign there. So you're willing to give up control of the country to because you want a politician yes. to visit your state? So here's how you stop it. Key battles are coming up now in Arkansas and North Carolina. So North Carolina and Arkansas, this, according to Dick Morris, are, is coming up. In both states, one house have passed the compact. Stand firm in those two red states and block the compact from taking effect. Republicans in Minnesota and Wisconsin, blow, both blue states, need to stop ratification in their states. Republicans should focus on stopping the second house from ratification in those states where only one house is acted. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, the, 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 I mean... This is, I really think, and we may be past it, but this is probably the last legitimate election we get in this nation if we don't really change the power in Washington, D.C. If we don't really, truly change the power in Washington, D.C., I don't think you're going to get another, I don't think you'll get another fair presidential election. You may not get a fair election um, depending on where it is. But we've got to get the people like Matt Bevan into office and the people like Mitch McConnell. These guys are these guys are progressives. Mitch McConnell is a progressive. He's a big government guy, and he will use the power of the IRS. He'll use mm-hmm. all of the things that they have laid mm-hmm. down now. And you don't want it. I mean, at one point, one of these groups, they are going to seize power. I think it's going to be the Democrats only because I don't think the Democrats are going to let it go. And once they seize power, you can we'll have a banana republic. I mean, we're already there. Yeah, and look how hard they're fighting against just something so simple as bringing your ID to the vote. Well, that's racism. Uh, it's, that's it's racism. racism. It is racism. When when almost all African Americans have some sort no, of but it's racism and they all agree no, that you racism. should bring a, a it's racism. To the polling no it booth. is racism just like it is when they when you go into a liquor store and yeah. you want to buy liquor and that's they ask racism. you for an id that's racism when you're when you're driving your mm-hmm. car and they ask you for photo id racism uh, it's racism when you're carrying a gun guaranteed by the second amendment in the constitution Mm -hmm. you have to have photo id and now in new york you have to be registered yeah so you got that extra you know hurdle there but that's 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 all racism there shouldn't be and i think everybody agrees with me on this there shouldn't be id on anything no right yeah you notice the only things that where you don't need id you know you can get on a plane lickety split no id they're not going to hassle you on that at all (laughs) <laughs> Except oh, yeah. they are, yeah. Other than, oh. other than being okay. the exact opposite well, of what you you'll just notice said, that that's the only true. things the only things that you don't really need ID on uh-huh. a job, which you you do. Yeah, you're gonna actually need. you're going to need an ID for that. So really, yeah, not mm-hmm. every job, but My, many jobs, huh. most jobs. Yeah, you need an ID for that. Well, liquor it, you don't. Yeah, you no, do. Yeah, driving you, a car, you but you can get it. No, you can't. You can't car. drive going, a car. Or drink liquor. Going out of the country, you don't. Yeah, you, you do. Well, you, you do. And you need it. Opening smoke. a bank account. You yeah, don't. that you, no, do. you do. You do for that too. 
But something so is. So why is it that it is racist mm. that I? Why is it racist that I have to have ID in all of those things? Right. Except, and nobody has a problem. Nobody with has a problem. Any of it. When the when the any white banker says I need to see some ID, that's not racist. Nobody says that. Nobody has a problem yeah, with that. No. Yeah. Well, you know who's really racist against African Americans? The seventy five percent of African Americans who also support voter ID. Hmm. They are so racist against have black seen, people. 